Happy 4th of July, everybody. I'm wearing a mask as a quick reminder that even with our freedoms, there are constrictions. And freedom is a beautiful thing. Freedom is not for us to do what we want to do, but what we ought to do. And our state and local authorities have deemed it necessary that we wear masks. So tomorrow, when we gather freely at 9.30, just one service for the 4th of July weekend, bring masks, be ready for a mask service. It's a chance, again, to bring about, oh, a sense of comfort, solace, and care for others. Considering others is more important than yourself is a mark of the church, and that's the new normal that we're in. I hope this 4th of July you are experiencing the freedom of family, even with constrictions that are necessary to keep people healthy and happy. You know, we're talking about joy in the book of Philippians, and joy is a deep abiding joy beyond our circumstances, beyond, we talked about last week, beyond difficult people and even death itself. So as you gather <clears throat> with fireworks, with food on the grill, with family and friends, I pray you are thanking God for the freedoms we have to worship him in this great nation. Now again, this great nation is only great to the extent that we allow God to be the ruler of our hearts. It is John Calvin, one of the founding fathers of the Presbyterian Church, who said our hearts are idol factories. So as we talk about God and country, may we keep that order in place, that it's God before our country, before our nation. It's God's kingdom, not the kingdom of the USA. And yet we still praise God and say, God bless America, <clears throat> God bless the USA, so that we can be a blessing to others. We're never blessed just for ourselves, but for others. So again, this 4th of July, freely worship God, freely love others, be set free. In fact, in the Hebrew, Doror is the way you, I think that's how you pronounce that, that Hebrew word where we get liberty and freedom. And it has this reference to the free flight of a sparrow. And just like a sparrow would be flying freely throughout the air, our freedom can go everywhere. May our freedom to love and care for others flow into every relation that we have. So God bless you on this 4th of July, Independence Day. May we be set free from our sin, from our wounds, from our hurts and our aches and our fears and our worries. God be glorified. Happy Independence Day. See you tomorrow, either online or on site. God bless America.